Hello there everyone and welcome. My name is Lisa and I am so glad that y'all are all here watching today. This is an extra special video. If you are new to the channel, then you don't know, but I have a love for Mackenzie Childs and I have an extensive collection of Mackenzie Childs courtly check dishes and accessories. Absolutely love it. So when the fall catalog showed up at my house, I was flipping through it, you know, oohing and aahing over all the beautiful pieces in there that are very, very very pricey and I saw these witch legs they were so cute well I happened to be in Ross one of my favorite stores to shop at and I saw these wooden witch feet and legs now they're a little bit different than the original Mackenzie child pieces those were turned upside down and they were split into two parts I thought about cutting and maneuvering these to look like that but in the end I decided that might create a big disaster just the way they were constructed so that is okay these are inspired by those very pricey Mackenzie Childs witch legs. I think they turned out great. And for somebody that just paints and crafts and DIYs for a hobby, I am impressed and think they look really good. I'm going to enjoy them in my decor for so many years to come. I'm going to let you sit back and enjoy the process. I'm painting my wonderful witch souls red after those famous Louboutin shoes because our witch is extra and she is unique just like we are. this is your first time here and you're new, again, my name is Lisa. I am a stay-at-home wife and mother to two older boys. My passion is for homemaking and housekeeping. But before I had kids and pursued the life of motherhood at home, I was a fashion designer. So that is where my love for decorating and painting and creating comes from is that background in fashion. While I do have that background, I am here to say this was not an overly difficult painting project and I believe that anybody of any skill set or level could take something like this on. And Halloween's almost over and I was lucky to find these legs, but you could take the same principle and apply it to Christmas, to Easter, to your home decor that you have out daily. Let your imagination run wild and create something fabulous in your home.
for the stocking that has the courtly check pattern on it I'm just going to grid out the checkerboard and then I'm going to let that dry and come back in with the shading and you will see I get a piece of my Mackenzie Childs courtly check out to have it there to look at as a guide to kind of get the shading right on my leg I also go back in on the orange and black stocking and add some shading and depth to that as well. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with myself <laughs> for freehanding this and just kind of winging it as I go. I did not have a plan or a strategy. I figured worst case, I cover it up and paint it back purple and black or orange and black or do something different if it was a complete disaster. So don't be scared or afraid to try something new. Step out of your comfort zone and give it a shot. Don't be afraid to fail because you can't succeed without being willing to take that risk. to give some definition and distinction between the black shoes and the black baseboard so I'm taping it off with one inch painters tape and I'm just gonna go in with a very light and rough coat of the orange so that it kind of has just that break between all the black and I really think it ended up making the shoes pop up and stand out let me know in the comments below what you think how did I do do you think they turned out really cute? I am loving them. Thank you all for watching. I am so happy that you were here today for this Mackenzie Childs inspired DIY witch legs. 
Halloween is quickly approaching, but there is still time to get in a few crafts and a few more Halloween decorations. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe before you click off this video today. I will be featuring these Mackenzie Childs inspired DIY witch legs in an upcoming fall home tour that has been requested by a dear friend of mine and so I'm happy to bring that to you. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.